What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. We got superstar Rob. I did it right this time. You got it. You got it. How's it going? How's it going? Rob? It's going well. Not How are bad. you? Not too bad. Uh, we got a really uh, important video that we thought we had to get out here. Of course, uh, we're scouring the VV marketplace just so you do not have to. And uh, we're anticipating for the Master Collector program. We've done another video on it. If you haven't seen it, it's going to be above Rob's head over there. Um, but uh, other side. Other side. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so it's going to be up there. Go check it out. That talks about why comics might be your best bet when it comes to the Master Collector program. But so we own all we own all the comics we talked about, or most of them in the, that video. Um, but we have been doing a little bit more research. And you guys know there's websites like VV Setlist that gives you an idea how to do. And I just pull it up now. It gives you an idea of how to collect your master collector points it has uh, all kinds of stuff we found it through vv vision the collectibles uh it, you, you list it by the mcp this will tell you how much it is per per point per item obviously this dropped today so this is not an, true anymore um, yeah. but it looks like visit from saint nick is your best bet if you want to go the set route yeah and it'll cost you 37 dollars per point uh if you collect that whole set right so to us, that's the most important metric, how much it is per point. That's the most efficient way to get these points on the app based off of the Medium article, which we went over in that last video. Um, then there's also Comic Tab, which if you list it by by MCP, um, this these first couple are not dropped yet, so you yeah. don't look at those. Um, Probably where yeah, Avengers 47. I think 47 will be the beginning because the other ones yeah. are not dropped yet. So it will be like this. So yep. we're looking at $28 per point, which is a lot higher than when we looked last. Yeah, um, it's gone up. It's gone yeah, up. When we, when we looked last, it was 24 and a half, I think. So yeah. VV Master Collector. I'm just trying to pull up the Master Collector program as well. Um, this way I can show you guys. So this is the VV Master Collector program. Yeah. Um, so the way that you we figured read that... It. You gotta, yeah, you gotta read it, it. There, uh, just type in on google vv master collector program medium and it will come up um but this this is how we found the comic strategy um basically we went in here we're like okay for we knew that vv set list is going to give us an idea for collectible sets so we don't really have to do much research this is what we're looking at pretty much 37 dollars per yeah per mcp point so we went we read through this um and we noticed that the comics, there's a big jump from uncommon to rare. And right. on top of that, there's a lot of rare comics which are uh, undervalued, I guess, in terms of this. Because you can get a rare comic for like 20, it was it was like $25 per MCP point. So Rob and I, we scooped up a couple of those. Uh, yeah. And we thought we were all great. We were like, okay, we've got the most efficient MCP strategy until today <laughs> when... We looked a little bit further and we realized that maybe maybe comics is not the most efficient. It's still very efficient. Much it can be than... depending on how much you spend. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. But the other thing is, is it, it, okay, we knew sets probably aren't the most efficient. Then we found right. out that comics are pretty efficient. But then today <laughs> we found out that just plain old collectibles might be the most efficient. Yeah. So we're going to do a deep dive. Rob has a lot of charting and and details on that but this this item here stuck out to me and uh, collectible points one point is given for each collectible owned so i said listen if there's a collectible okay you get bonus points for rare ultra rare secret rare but you're not going to get any of those under 25 bucks or yeah, 50 bucks not efficient point. yeah they're not efficient so i went through and uh i usually call me wiki you're not going to lie just to help sort actually yeah. rob's idea and uh we found like the 30 maybe that were yeah. were the cheapest collectibles on the app and uh, just because per point it doesn't matter what you own right? right so we we made a little list and uh this was our comics list if you guys didn't see it yeah you might want to pause the video it's definitely outdated i updated it on the 14th everything but you can tell look 2450 yeah. was the cheapest yeah uh, and these so we charts also, are going to change every day right They're yeah changing every day it's always changing so depending on what your price point is try and figure that out and then maybe just say listen anything that goes under this this dollar per mcp I want that in my collection. Um, so I did the same thing for the collectibles. And uh, here you go. Uh, I listed them basically by MCP, dollar per MCP. And you can tell that we have a lot of uh, 
Yeah. Just just even the first six are lower than the lowest comic was three days ago. So right. here's another inefficiency in the market. Right. We found it again. Yeah. And then uh, we and we also speculated, right, that in the in like the comic version, people are gonna want to start buying these up in preparation to future proof their portfolio like we like we wanted to yeah. so if your main objective now let's say you already own some nice blue chips and we had lots of comments uh on our last video and thank you to everybody who watched it and and yeah. commented it and gave us their opinion on on what they thought but a lot of people out there believe that you know why why should they even buy comics when the collectibles are gonna are going to do so much better well maybe this is the best of both worlds right now you yeah. have an opportunity yeah. to maximize your mcp um and get that price appreciation which we usually find more of in collectible mm -hmm. items versus the comics yeah so maybe you didn't like some of those comics like we, i i personally don't like some of the comics that i bought for this strategy and i'm not kind of in it for what i like that's more of a long-term hold play get my points daily um because i think people will figure this out but these are some collectibles. You can actually do some stuff with them. Like the comics are still cool. They're going to be in the showroom. They're going to maybe receive a pump when they allow it to go in the showroom, which is a, a benefit. Yeah. But the other benefit of owning just individual collectibles, and we said this in the comics video, it's you don't have to worry about if you have to sell one off to enter into a raffle or a drop um, because you're not going to lose the set points yeah. because the it's set points are all tied liquidity. together. It's because you give you liquidity. You could sell off exactly. any one of these because the the whole point is that every collectible counts as yeah. one point, right? And then yeah. if you own a second one, it's point seven five. So, so that's you're not getting point any seven fives there. So yeah. if you notice these these are we just put in if you owned one collectible, and point uh, seven five is what you get if you own a second. And even in some cases, Kingo, if you own two of him, you still have a, a better dollar per MCP than if you own one Sirena. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. uh, there's there's a lot of of collectibles out there right now that are being slept on in terms of the master collector program. And if you do have a master collector program uh, mentality, take a look at this list, go look at them. This might not be current anymore. I mean, I, we, I wrote the list by the time I went to go purchase some of them, they were already up in value. Um, so yep. it's, it's definitely changing every day. And uh, I think more and more people are becoming aware of how important master collector program will be. Um, the one thing I guess, that you would have to realize is what is your threshold in terms of how much you want to spend per point uh what your total budget is if you're right. if you're planning to have a budget for this and then comparing the two charts i guess th these might give you an idea of what the order is i'm not sure if they've pumped since uh, but i think this might be the first video on youtube like that talks about buying the cheapest collectibles as the best strategy. I've seen yeah. videos about the comics now that we've done our video and they're very similar timing wise. We kind of got a hint off of watching some other videos to make that video and make it a little bit more detailed. But this yeah. video here where we're talking strictly dollar per MCP just by owning a Kingo is the cheapest is the cheapest option at time of recording. Yeah. I don't think anybody's doing that. I don't think anybody's done that. So if you want to help out your friends or whatever give them this type of information of course not financial advice nope. never financial advice do not buy anything based off of us make sure that you understand the whole process go read this entire package and make sure we're not missing anything because we might be missing something right yeah but uh go check out all your options and then make your informed decision this is just to give you a little bit more information and, yeah uh, this is for a specific type of, yeah. of vv person like if you're objective like, you have to be willing in the first place to take on that risk to start yeah. using to start preparing for the mcp program you know there was another comment that we had that said well i'm probably not going to win any in the future anyways which i mean it's perfectly fine to speculate that but we also have to remember that even the whales out there yeah. if they stake their points and they win any item they will actually lose all those points yeah. Where, whereas you, if you don't win it you get back 90 percent as of now that's the rule yeah so it's a little bit there's a little bit gray area especially in this thing here um and at the end, like we mentioned in the other video, just in case you didn't see that video, let me bring it up for you. Uh, so you're aware. It says, please note there will be measures in place to prevent users from exploiting, abusing, or otherwise gaming the system. So don't make any rash decisions about your collections or purchasing activity based on this article. So basically saying things can change anytime. So right. we're, we're making a big assumption in our, in our purchase. Like we've done this already. We've bought a bunch yeah. of these. Yeah. And uh, we're making an assumption that maybe if it does change, it won't change too, too much because we don't see really much downside to having people purchase 
collectibles that aren't very sought after. I mean, the cheapest one on the app is 19 yeah. bucks right now. Yeah. Uh, so people don't want it. So by us purchasing that, if anything, we're doing BB a favor by putting money into something that's not a uh, blue chip uh, yeah. in order to boost our future potential. And yeah, and, and I, I personally don't mind though, because overall I'm bullish that VV is going to have so much more users coming in. Yeah. And and these, at the end of the day, this list is just filled with first editions and first That's appearances. true. That's true. They're all first, mostly first appearances. So, and some of them know, are cool. Some of them are cool. <laughs> we were going through it. Messi, I'm a Messi fan. That might be our thing. Yeah. Messi might be our, our, our VV cult. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to pick one, but uh, let it, us know. It's, what's, it's what's good. What's your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the first appearances, and and as the app grows, you you would think that maybe these, you know, these these eighteen dollar listed prices aren't going to last very long. But again, everything the future is uncertain. We're making yeah. our best guesses. We can be completely wrong. But I think as of right now, if your objective is to yeah. maximize MCP points, now you have an option for collectibles, yeah. and you have an option for for uh, comic books. Maybe you just like the rare comic books, and maybe you prefer to take that route if you just had the same amount yeah, of money options. to spend. You have, have options, options now. Uh, again, might not be the, your favorite things that you're purchasing if this is your strategy, but yeah, you have some options. And uh, for us, this is this makes sense right now. Yeah. So that's what we've done, and uh, we're prepared. So now we're just waiting for the day that they announce the MCP. I guess so. Like we're making like between the last two videos, I think we we're making like 50 points a day or something like that. I think so. Now that we added up to. Oh no! So. It must be over 50. I think it's got to be, especially with like our other, our other stuff, because obviously we have some other. Yeah, some other collectibles. So, so 50 a day. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully uh, lets us participate at least. Yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, I think uh, you had some other things you wanted to show. I just wanted to illustrate these. Uh, these. Are you ready uh, to pull it up? Can I pull yeah, it up? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Pull it. Pull it over to my screen. All right, so we're there. We just basically wanted to take these charts and then uh, make you know make it more a little bit more illustrative for everybody watching. So what you're gonna see is in orange is you're gonna have basically the dollars per MCP for comics. And then um, the, the x-axis is the collectibles owned. So what you end up finding is if you start at the bottom of the barrel for like the, you know, the most efficient dollars per MCP for comics, and then you compare it to the blue line, which is the dollars per MCP for collectibles, what you find is for around the first, you know, from zero all the way, what is this, up to around 24, for the first 24 purchases, you're actually going to be more efficient buying collectibles. If but you were only going to buy one. If you were only going to buy one. Right. If you right. did a mix, you can mix it up, right? But if you're going right. to buy one or the That's other. Right. And it's kind of like you can also, you yeah. know, you go and you buy, let's say, the first 10. Now, yeah. all of a sudden, now you jump back to comics and then you buy you the, the first uh, seven there, and then you go back and forth, back and forth. You and optimize what, it, you, and you could optimize it any way you want. You get, you guys got to figure out what is your dollar per MCP threshold if you want to be optimal, and then just go find items on those lists that fit it. Right. But this, this is a good idea if you're just thinking, okay, I only want collectibles or I only want comics. This shows you. That shows you. Yeah. And then, and then I did the same thing. Like I just took this information. I, I just figured, okay, let's say you start buying, you know. Yeah made another chart and this this chart is a little bit this different. Is a good chart. Yeah. This, this chart here term. this is more yeah this is this kind of smooths it out based on cumulative dollar spent on the x-axis versus the cumulative points earned on the y-axis and remember yeah. these charts are like today's numbers and even then from the time that we took the data obviously yeah. price changes, changes so it's, a, it's a constantly dynamic nature but it's really the the trend that i want to show here where you see that in terms of cumulative points earned your collectibles is the best for your first like six hundred and twenty-five dollars spent, and yeah. then and then you flip over and then again back to the dynamic nature, right? It's the same kind of idea. Like you don't have to just go buy collectibles and then yeah. go buy comics. Yeah. You can go back and forth, back and forth. This is just to show if you went one or the other. There's eventually yeah. that inflection point where then it makes sense to go back and and go buy the other ver the other collectible or, or comic depending on where you are in your your prices yeah, it's just some more information it's nothing uh set in stone it's always changing like you said but it shows you that there are inefficiencies that's a i think that's a major yeah. part of this right yeah um well we think no. we think eventually this is going to get picked up and and people yeah. will will want to start being more involved in the mcp and they'll start going to these highly efficient dollar per mcp um items and, and yeah. buying them up okay so i'll pull that off the screen um yeah. i i think I think that one of the big things too is if VV does make changes, if they change to favor um, sets, because that they would kind of 
they, that could blow up, blow this up a little bit. If, uh, yep. if they decide to go in favor sets a little bit more, cause they realize like people just can buy collectibles. What's the point of having sets, but how Dude. important is it to them for people to own sets? Like, I don't see the, the reason they need people to own sets. Like exactly. Like we're, we recognize and everybody who wants to go and, and, and do a strategy like this should recognize that it's still very early. The MCP is not implemented. They've already made changes. They can continue to make changes. You have to do it at your own yeah. risk. And, um, but I agree with you. I think VV has a lot of interest in having more purchases overall rather hopefully, than... Hopefully, because that's what we're begging, banking on. <laughs> yeah, because this whole MCP program, right. I think they want to reward people because the more that people buy, they get they get more from the market transactions, right? Yeah, but it, it also, whatever they do, whatever they put in place, the market is going to adapt to it and it it's going to line up. So if you have these inconsistencies with the uncommon common collectibles that floor is going to rise and once people realize how important mcp points will be that floor will rise they will have to just to match the the system that's in place well assuming it, prices yeah. continue to go up right assuming no, no, but it will, grows and it goes up yeah. which we believe it will yeah I, what i'm saying though is if if vv says this is how the points work yeah people are gonna adapt we'll they're gonna figure out these in, in, in inconsistencies so you're not gonna have Nineteen dollars per, or it could be that nineteen dollars becomes the the mean, and no matter what you buy, that's your dollar per MCP point. Like they're, they're gonna they're gonna adapt it. So like even if you bought a rare, equilibrium, yeah, they'll buy it where you, you buy a rare for a hundred, and then instead of being whatever amount of points, now it's five points, so you get twenty dollars per point, and then yeah. the common will cost twenty dollars for one point. So it'll 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 balance eventually or be close. Yeah. So that's that's gonna be the whole thing going forward, even. When it does come out is okay what makes more sense always keep that dollar per mcp in mind especially if they stick with this type of a program i think yeah and like i still think that like buying more like vv wants people to buy more collectibles as you yeah. buy more collectibles you learn more about the different collectibles you expose yeah. more brands so why not make an mcp program kind of like this this strategy you're showing where if you buy more of the collectibles that are available on the market you're going to get more exposures for your branding. It's better for bringing in your brands in the future. Course. That's the long term. Anyways, I think that's enough for this one. Yep. If you didn't see the last video, it's going to be above Rob's head over there on the top right. Um, go check it out. That will be about why you need to buy some more comics. This video is why you need to buy some more collectibles. Yeah. Um, not financial advice. Not financial advice. Guys, we hope you enjoyed it. If you just found us, hit the subscribe button. We're new to YouTube, but we're growing at a rapid pace. Don't miss out on anything that we bring to the table. We're bringing information daily. And uh, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye-bye.